from Mauritius for the food donation here and we are doing the parcel distribution and we are actually in the middle of a valley here and we're giving about um, 60 past food parcels to different people around Mauritius and these people obviously do not have the basic essentials to live and the basic uh, needs and that is what we are trying to fulfill here. They obviously live in huts and it's in the middle of nowhere. Mauritius obviously is known to be a tropical island and people live in houses like that behind me in tin houses now mauritius obviously everyone knows to be a tropical island a tropical island obviously where everyone comes on their holidays and their honeymoons and a lot of holidays and the main tourism is of uh, tourism but people don't realize that how many people are actually in poverty the main purpose of this is actually on the occasion of the horse of my grandfather his eminence hazrat alama molana muhammad ibrahim kushtar and it's to show that we give back to the communities and we share with those that are in need 
Our main purpose is obviously to make a difference and to raise awareness and together that we can make a difference and share with those that are less fortunate than ourselves. This is not a publicity thing for ourselves to show that what we are doing, we've actually been doing this for the past uh, three years, uh, Demula Bai and the QIC team. But this year we thought that we'll show to you guys what we are doing and take you guys along the journey with us so that we can hopefully inspire some of you to also do the same within your communities as it does make a difference and we can give back. Alhamdulillah, we are in a position that we are able to give back and we are able to make a difference and uh, we are able to do that. We've contributed ourselves um, towards this cause and we've raised about um, £2,000 in cents um, and half of that was, uh, less than half of that was from us and then the rest has been raised here in Mauritius. So Alhamdulillah, it's been done here and it's something that we are just doing now. We are visiting the houses of the people um, and the people are giving the distribution behind us. But it's something that we don't want to show the families because obviously we don't want to disrespect them. But it's something we're going to raise awareness of and show you guys. Mauritius obviously is a tourism industry, but it is a place where there is poverty and poverty that obviously can be seen when you're walking around the island. It's not an obvious thing, but it's something that we have seen and we're experiencing today. The um, amount of poverty is about a lot here, considering for the population, a population of 1.3 million uh, here in Mauritius. And they have an infant mortality rate of about 13%, which if you think about it, is a lot for 1.3 million. And it is due to malnourishment, not having the right nutrients and the right needs to be meet the basic needs. Um, and that is what we are trying to do and fulfill. We're giving them uh, items of about 20 items and it's going to the different houses, as you can see up there, the tin houses that everyone is at and the onion bags and everything that people are giving out down there. And water containers, we're giving out different things. We're giving out um, onions, we're giving out uh, dal, lentils and different things like that. And that is what we are trying to do and obviously raise awareness and hopefully make a difference. Um, and it's something that we think is necessary to be done in different parts of the world and different countries. Um, team One Vision, I know Razak Bai in the UK has done a lot of work in uh, Rohingya and different parts of the world, but our aim is to rain residents where my grandfather obviously came and where his different centres are, and that is Africa, uh, in India and in other parts of the world. So inshallah, that's what we're trying to do today. And hopefully you guys can share this with your family and friends and Ray help raise awareness. So we're going to take you guys along on the journey with us today. It is something that we that each parcel is about a thousand rupees and uh, I'll ask by them a lot to tell you a little bit more about what actually is in the parcels but as you can see it's quite difficult and it's raining as well today how much have we raised them away Sorry. How much have we raised? How much was raised? And how much was raised? This is the region of Valley Pitu. It's very close to Idga, and we have raised Mauritian rupees 132,000. Okay, Alhamdulillah. And it has been only three days. Uh, we have an uh, uh, Oxford contribution. We have a close member. It was not a public donation. Yeah. Only the members and, and the QIC family and the Sunni Razwi and my team that is here have given this. And Alhamdulillah, yesterday, even Brother Hassan and his father came for the packing. And now, Alhamdulillah, you can see the state and uh, make dua for Sunni Razu International. Inshallah. Well, see, Baitam Allah obviously has done a lot of work and support here in the QIC team. And it's something that we think is necessarily and you should all do it in different parts of the world. We've done it in, obviously in the UK with those on the homeless um, with our international North Khans, And it's something that maybe we should hopefully do here as well. No road access, we obviously have to walk. And no electricity, water. <laughs> As you can see, the state of the living conditions, something that we don't even comprehend living in the West, in the UK. So it's something that we can see. Tin houses in the middle of nowhere. So it is something, mountains. And it is difficult for people to even relate. So as you, we are here in the middle of the mountains, as you can see that was quite difficult living conditions and something that we don't see in the UK. So 
hopefully we are trying to help these people. They're mainly elderly people, uh, some disabled people as well, with uh, cri uh, critical illnesses, some that have got cancer that we've just met, one woman, um, and some other young people as well that don't have an education, don't have these basic needs, and it's something that we're gonna hopefully try and do here. Um, so we'll keep you guys updated. Do stay tuned to Sunny Rose V and the AMA, uh, AMA page and a QIC Mauritius and inshallah we'll keep you guys updated throughout the day. Uh, so do stay tuned. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.